Well, hi everybody, and welcome back to Suburban Homestead or Wyoming, Arizona. This is Sandy. This is Reagan. Max is over here. And I am going to plant potatoes that I've been chitting in a box so I can bring them back to Wyoming to plant in my gardens. I only have a limited amount of space in the truck, and so I'm planting all 12 of the potatoes in a box. Now, I've been chitting them, and that means that I like to use egg cartons. I put them in the egg cartons by the window, not in direct sun, but they get a lot of light. And what happens is those eyes swell up. Now, the process of chitting makes your potatoes stronger and they grow faster. So I never cut my potatoes. They're always the whole potato and I am actually doing red potatoes that we're gonna grow now, because my space is so limited in the truck that we're driving back to Wyoming, I have a little box and I'm going to show you the process of doing the soil up, putting them in there, and then the box that will sit on my patio. It won't be in the direct sun, but it will be in the heat so that they will start to grow. If they come through the soil before we leave, that's fine. If they don't, I'll just close the box up set it in the truck, and we will be off to Wyoming. So I'm working in the wheelbarrow, and I have a bucket, and this is the type of soil that you add water to it, it expands, you break it up, it's made with coconut um, husks and some wood products, um, little strings of wood, and so you just keep adding water until it's all the way um, saturated, really. And in fact, I like it to be pretty saturated so that when I add my perlite and vermiculite, that will soak up some of the moisture too. Now the combination between the perlite, which is this one, and the vermiculite is my next thing I'll pour in. I want that to be about a fourth of the total volume for my potatoes. And you can see they're two different colors. Perlite is always white. The vermiculite is kind of a tan color and it will make it so that it holds moisture and it has space so that air and those little roots can just move all over in that box. And I am using a cardboard box so that it will really start to decompose. It's in a sack, so such dirty hands, I tell you. <laughs> and the potatoes are there in the egg cartons. And this is my box. So it's just a regular box. I have a large paper um, or a plastic bag on it and I'm gonna put about three-fourths of that soil into it and I'll put some in I'll spread it around now you might be asking why don't you just buy potatoes when you get back to Wyoming well we're getting back to Wyoming way later and I had a really hard time finding some good seed potatoes last year look at those beautiful eyes on those so I just decided I would chit them here put them in a box now this is a really good idea if you're very limited in space and you want to chit your potatoes early because in this little box I am putting 12 potatoes they're basically almost touching each other and those eyes are ready to grow the soil is moist and they don't need any light right away and so the box is perfect for it so I'm going to dump soil on top of there and I really want to fill up the whole box and I don't have enough in my bucket so I'm going to mix some more up there and this is my box completely filled. So when we go next week, if they've broken through the soil, I will leave the flaps up. If they haven't, I'm gonna close it and I'll keep my eye on it and I will be ready to plant. Well, that was easy. 12 potatoes in one box and I have 12 plants that I will plant in the soil in Wyoming when we get home. As always, like, subscribe, share with the world, and I will see you next time. Seriously, I will. I'll see you next time. Really, I wouldn't just tell you that. I will. See you next time.